Imagine Amanda went to the library or online source and found current market research reports from credible market research companies like Forrester or Gartner or someone like that that already proved an estimate of the, total of the TAM for scheduling technologies. Shouldn't Amanda just save time and use the TAM numbers provided by the reports? Think about that for a second. I think that the, that kind of material and that kind of research has its place. It can provide you with a general overview of whether or not there's interest in a specific industry or space, but there's a couple problems. One is that if you're reading about it on Google, the likelihood is that you're too late to get that early mover advantage and somebody with more money <laughs> and better resources than you are probably out there um, doing it or about to do what you um, might be setting out to do. And the second thing as well is that that kind of research doesn't expose the real utility that your customer would end up getting from your product because you want to be out there and talking to customers and engaging with people to understand the pain points because that's really what influences the features that you want to put into a product. So while I think that that type of research has its place, it's not kind of the real guts of what will make your business successful. Exactly. Secondary research as opposed to primary market research that we've talked so much about only gives you a tops-down analysis. Tops-down analysis can give you some sense of the market and the market trends, but such analysis is rarely, if ever, concrete enough to the level of understanding and the specificity of end users that we're looking for. How much value your solution would provide to them is very, very important. Specificity wins over generalities every day. Because of that, if you just do a tops-down you're very likely to overestimate your TAM, and you're very likely to leave without some really clear understanding of the market. Too much top-down analysis makes you focus on spreadsheets, not customers, not real customers. I've never seen a live customer hiding in the cell of a spreadsheet, and I've looked at a lot of spreadsheets. Market research reports are useful as a very first step to really help give you a little bit of a view of, of an industry or how people are feeling or some statistics, but they never are exactly what you're looking for. If market research reports already exist, that means somebody's already explored this market and opportunities have already been taken from it. Primary market research is essential because you really find out what your target customers are looking for. How are they currently doing this? What do they hate about doing it? And how could you make it more efficient, better, or just more enjoyable for them? The best way to estimate TAM is to determine the number of end users that fit your end user profile through a bottoms up analysis. We often call the bottoms up analysis counting noses because you're getting very specific. This means doing primary customer research to determine the number of customers who will fit neatly into your end user profile. Of course, you can complement this with a top down analysis and you should. This will confirm your findings, but only complement, never replace primary market research with top-down analysis.